Today we're taking a look at the Phoenix Suns vs Denver Nuggets match, which is happening on Sunday, June 13, 2021, and giving you my betting tips and predictions in general on this game. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos. And if you would like more betting tips and predictions then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. Five plans are available for each and every one of you. You can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 270 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours and hours of your time searching the internet for some fake betting predictions and losing your money because of it. Join High Stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks and advices instantly. The Suns are coming at the Nuggets in waves. As a unit the Suns have been strong defensively, holding opponents to a playoff best 98.9 ppg and 41.8% shooting from the field. The Suns are 10th in the playoffs averaging 109.4 ppg but are second shooting 47.8% from the floor. Booker leads the team with 27.2 ppg in the playoffs. Paul is averaging 13.3 ppg, 8.9 assists, and just 1.3 turnovers per game. It's almost like there's never any downtime to breathe on the court, even when Devin Booker and Chris Paul are on the sidelines. The depth for the Suns is suffocating, and the Nuggets haven't been able to keep from drowning in their last three outings. Center Nikola Jokic might be the league MVP, but he doesn't have a surrounding cast like Phoenix. The Suns are hotter than the Sun right now and scoring on over half of their possessions. They are averaging 51.5% shooting in their last three games, while the Nuggets have slumped to 42.6%. That's almost a 10% difference and a telltale sign as to why things have been so lopsided throughout this series. If I'm a Nuggets fan, I'm sweating profusely heading into this game. I would have been sweating heading into Game 3. This Suns team is just built different. There is a lot of talk of the Utah Jazz being the most complete basketball team left in the playoffs, but the Suns have a case to have their name thrown in that hat as well. They are causing havoc on both ends of the floor and leaving the Nuggets to question if even Jamal Murray would have been enough to save them in this series. It hasn't even been close. DeAndre Ayton deserves a lot of credit for the job he's doing on Nikola Jokic, too. He isn't pitching a shutout by any stretch, but he is making life very uncomfortable for the league MVP in the front court, unlike Yusuf Norkic in Denver's previous series meeting with the Portland Trail Blazers. This Suns team is a different animal. A mountain of a challenge awaits the Nuggets in their return to the hardwood on Sunday against a Suns team that has beaten them to every punch. However, head coach Michael Malone isn't ready to throw in the towel just yet. He's still holding out hope that his team will at least show some fight. Nikola Jokic, the 2021 NBA MVP, led the Nuggets with 26.4 points, 10.8 rebounds per game and the entire NBA with a 31.36 player efficiency rating on the season. In the playoffs, Joker is averaging 30.7 PPG and 11.7 rebounds per game. Jokic scored 32 points, grabbed 20 rebounds, and had 10 assists in the Game 3 loss. Denver shot 41.1%, 39-95, from the floor and 34.1%, 14-41 from three-point range in the loss. Therein lies the problem for a Nuggets team that just seems overwhelmed at both ends of the floor. The Suns are plus 18.7 points in average scoring margin throughout this series. That's just absolutely shocking considering the Nuggets' talent. Even without Jamal Murray, they were believed to be a team capable of competing in Western Conference. Denver is averaging 114.4 points per game in the playoffs and shooting 45.6% from the field as a team. The Nuggets have allowed 119.8 ppg on the defensive end, and opponents shot 48.9% from the field. 
I know for myself, I can't speak for anyone else. The last thing I want to see is the Phoenix Suns pushing a broom across our court after Game 4, Malone said, via ESPN.com. We have had a tremendous season, tremendous. I said going into this year you can't judge a season by the end result. We got to the Western Conference Finals last year, certain things can happen, but we can have a better season this year but not get as far. But the Suns have quickly proved that not to be the case. Don't expect the shooting onslaught to just cease, either. Phoenix has a team full of marksmen that will continue to put pressure on Denver's defense. The effort is clearly there, but the Suns have done a tremendous job of moving the ball and giving shooters good looks at the basket. Nikola Jokic clearly needs help on the floor, but this also isn't a situation where you can simply lay the blame at the feet of everyone but him. Sun center DeAndre Ayton has done a tremendous defensive job throughout this postseason, and he is making things difficult on the newly crowned MVP. Buckets have been tough to come by in this series. My first betting advice for that game is to pick Phoenix Suns, minus 3.5. Chris Paul had 27 points, 8 assists and 3 steals, and Devin Booker chipped in his usual 28 points as the Suns defeated the Nuggets in Game 3 to take a stranglehold in the series. Before the game, Nikola Jokic was awarded the MVP trophy in front of a feverish Denver crowd. We knew this was going to be an emotional game for them with Joker being presented with the trophy before the game, Paul said to Associated Press reporters after the game. We just talked about withstanding their runs. The Phoenix Suns are averaging 109.4 points on 47.8% shooting and allowing 98.9 points on 41.8% shooting. Devin Booker is averaging 27.2 points and 4.9 assists, while DeAndre Ayton is averaging 15.6 points and 11 rebounds. Chris Paul is the third double-digit scorer and Jay Crowder is grabbing 4.6 rebounds. The Phoenix Suns are shooting 38.6% from beyond the arc and 85.1% from the free throw line. The Phoenix Suns are allowing 31.5% shooting from deep and are grabbing 42.8 rebounds per game. They are one win away from their first trip to the Western Conference Finals since 2009-10, which coincidentally was the last time Phoenix was in the postseason. The Suns led by double digits much of the first half, but went cold over the final 90 seconds of the second quarter, allowing the Nuggets to pull within four points by halftime, but Denver missed their first seven shots after halftime, killing whatever momentum they had going into the break. The Suns did not trail again in the game and will look to end Denver's season on the road Sunday night. After a rocking pregame ceremony celebrating his MVP award, Nikola Jokic joined Wilt Chamberlain and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar as the only players with 30 points, 20 boards, and 10 assists in an NBA playoff game. Unfortunately, the Nuggets were outmatched as they fell in Game 3. Monty Morris scored 21 off the bench but Denver's four other starters scored just 30 points, including a 15-point effort from Michael Porter Jr. while Barton added 14 points in his second game back from a hamstring injury. The third-seeded Nuggets, who reached the conference finals last year with the play of Jamal Murray, are on the brink of getting swept in a playoff series for the first time since the Lakers eliminated them out of the first round in 2007-08. I thought our guys played really hard. I think we let it all out there, Malone said to AP reporters after criticizing his team in Game 2. I really think this game came down to two things turnovers and the Suns 14-2 run spanning the third and fourth quarter. My second betting advice for that game is to pick over 222. Good luck to all of you. That's it for this video. Stay tuned and stay safe for the next betting tips and advice.